made a five piece necklace with optional braided choker and I'm going to show you that one It was a five piece necklace and then I made a choker and I'm going to also make a bracelet as well. Now what I did with this, I'll start with the choker. Those pieces are all attached but the choker is not. So I used those choker clasps, the crimped choker clasp okay they're regular crimps and it has a chain and you could if you have a smaller neck you can go to the end if you have a bigger neck you have all that room to attach the clasp to and all I did was took three pieces of the craft cord and I braided it now I tied the knot at the end and I put my little bag clip or a clamp on it if you want and then I braided it really tight and then I straightened it out and flattened it because it will bunch up so you're going to have to keep straightening and flattening. Then at the very end I made sure that that knot stayed and I kind of flattened it out and then I trimmed as much as I could and put some of the glue from the glue gun on the end piece and while it was still hot I put the crimp on and then I squeeze the crimp with my jewelry working tools so that's what you have to do and then I did the same thing on the other side and I have a nice little choker and I'll show you what that looks like on this is what the choker looks on okay and you can make it even thicker you just have to when you braid it you know you get three pieces so one strand will have four or five or six and the same at the middle and the same with the other end and then you can braid all of them together but keep in mind the end pieces are going to be pretty thick so you'll have to get a bigger crimped end clasp okay and that's what that looked like and on this piece these are all connected see the back i used another crimp now i know this one's gold and I have silver here, but I ran out of my silver end ones, and it's for me. But if you're going to make them to sell or give as gifts, you want to do it as the color that coordinates with it, okay? You don't want to have odd colors going on, unless you have mixed metal colors in it. Now, this had silver in it, so I wanted to keep it silver, but until I get new ones, when I get new ones, then I'll put, but no one's going to see them. I have a lot of hair. I hardly wear my hair up, and it's just for me. used my craft cord, and I braided one piece, okay? And I, I did it pretty long. I always make sure this extra. I took three long pieces. You can make it like 40 inches because you can always trim down. It's better to go longer with your pieces than to cut it shorter because you can't get those inches back at least if it's longer you could always just trim it and fix it after I did that I braided it and then I left those ends I tidied it up a little bit and then I just took three pieces of the cord as it was I didn't you know just the piece of the cord I didn't attach it with anything else I took one cord and I made it a little now you can definitely make it like a choker part and then hang them but I made this a little longer because I had this choker ready and I figured if I want this to hang a little longer I have that option but if I wanted a choker also then I just add this to the mix and I have the choker option And what I did was I took those three pieces also and I did have two connectors and I did have some beads and I just that were big enough just these three beads and 
I put one bead here, one bead here, and then the one in the middle. And then I thought it needed another metal element. So I took a piece of chain, okay, I cut it, and I wanted to see, and I laid it all out to see how it would hang, because I wanted you it all to hang in unison. And then I left the excess pieces of the chain, and when I'm, I was all done, I took all the pieces and I clamped the other side and I took them all, got them all together and I started to wrap really tight with the piece of cord and I used a little glue gun and then I tight, really super tight pulled it to the very end and then I used the glue gun and then with the pieces that were sticking out at the end I trimmed up as much as I could and then I put some glue gun and I put the crimping end piece clasp on there and I squeezed it really tight and then I did the same thing to the other side and any excess fuzzy pieces of the material that was sticking out I trimmed to give it a nice clean end and they're all attached now this is all one and I'm gonna put it on so you can see and what I like about these clasps is that you know you can make it longer or shorter. Now I already have my choker on and if I didn't want to wear it with the choker I didn't have to. That's why I left the choker piece optional. Okay it'll look nice with a nice tank top and then you have the chain and you can certainly add more chain elements to it if you want more of the silver. Finagle it a little bit when you're putting it on and it's just many pieces and I like that it has many pieces and then you've got the metal element with the chain and you could add another chain in between there you could add uh, some seed beads now it looks kind of funny with this shirt but like if you have this a summer outfit on like um, a tank top or spaghetti straps or an, a, a halter or a halter dress this will look really nice and you got a nice tan going and you go on vacation it, it's dressy yet casual and very boho but still not it, I guess I'd call it boho chic <laughs> I love the craft cord option but keep this in mind that it is thick it isn't really thin so you have to get beads with bigger holes okay and like I said I have this on now and if I didn't want the choker element I could just remove the choker but it's a five piece you add the choker it becomes a six piece and I made and it went well with these earrings and you can make yourself a pair of tassel earrings and there it is and that's all there is to it it's very easy I will show you all the pictures again starting with what this looks like and I'm gonna also make a bracelet which I think will look nice so I hope you like that uh, show and tell uh, kind of tutorial of those and if you have any questions please ask me in the comment section below and please and please hit the like button and let me know if you are going to try this or if you like I said or if you have any questions or if you just want to say hello so thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye